A gorgeous summer night on the shores of Lake Ontario. It's the first day of August. The Blue Bombers are first in the West, and the Argos are still looking for their first win. Welcome to BMO Field for part one of Thursday Night Football. Winnipeg, he took the opening kickoff for a touchdown and what turned out to be a decisive victory for Winnipeg over Toronto, one of the six Argo losses to start this season, as Thursday night football is underway on this August the 1st. It is Lucky Whitehead again. They vowed their coverage would be better this time on him, and number seven does uh, take it across for a return up to the 34, where Matt Nichols of the Blue Bombers offense will go to work. 29-48, 261, but he threw three interceptions, Matt Nichols did. He is still the top-rated quarterback in the Canadian Football League, but that rating did drop. Handing it off to Andrew Harris on the first down. Harris grinds his way for more than five, six, seven yards for Winnipeg and a good gain on first down. Uh, offensively, the Blue Bombers welcome back Chris Matthews. This evening, he's in the lineup in place of the injured Darvin Adams. He'll play the wideout spot primarily along that offensive line. An eye on center, Michael Couture, the Simon Fraser product. He's done a nice job taking over first year as a full-time starter, replacing the retired Matthias Gosen. We'll call it a gain of eight for Andrew Harris, just too shy of the rushing lead in the CFL now. And faking the handoff to him, and it's Nick Dembski of the second and two taking it, and easily gets the first down, and he gets... Taken out of bounds and a flag coming out for rough play there for uh, Jonathan Dowling. And because that comes at the end of the play, that moves the ball all the way up to the Argo 44. So Winnipeg already in scoring position now in this first possession for what's been a difficult season for Corey Chamberlain. An 0 6 start for these Toronto Argonauts. The only team left without a win. And Nichols is throwing, and that one. Dembski's the closest receiver, but it looked like there was a bit of confusion there as it falls incomplete. Yeah, and I'm not sure that that wasn't a kind of an intentional throwaway as the defense seemed to have sniffed that one out. We'll take a look at that defense. Veteran defensive end Sean Lemon looks to give this pass rush a little bit of a boost for the Toronto Argonauts. Try and get some heat on Matt Nichols here tonight. The linebacking core, former bomber Ian Wild comes off the injured list. He'll play the weak side spot, which bumps Micah Awe back into the middle linebacker spot. University of Calgary product Robert Woodson starts at free safety. Nichols throwing off to his right to the boundary and he uh, completes it there to Chris Matthews back in the lineup. No, they're calling it an incompletion. 51 yard attempt for Justin Medlock who's 8 for 11 on the year as long as 52. Medlock known for his ability to make long field goals and the conditions are perfect here tonight in Toronto. By the lane, Medlock up, lots of leg. And he splits those uprights. And so the Argos emphasize the importance of starting well. It's Winnipeg that gets on the board first. Ten straight losses for him, the starting quarterback. And it has been a, a tough time as he throws that over the middle into coverage. And that's intended there for S.J. Green, second down. Well, the offense should get a little bit of a boost with the return of Armandi Edwards. Sat out last week due to injury. Productive receiver out of the slot. And Sean McEwen... Another University of Calgary product anchors that offensive line from a first round pick for these Toronto Argonauts. Last week, Bethel Thompson just six for 18. And completing that one to SJ Green, third and two. So a punting situation now for Zach Medeiros. And there to take it is Mike Jones. The latest punt returner. It's not about the passing yard, it's about the wins. And they've been winning a lot with him at quarterback and handing off to Andrew Harris. And of course, the efficiency as well for Nichols and using a lot of different receivers. The way they go about winning football games, the fact that it isn't about putting up big stats, it's just about winning the game. Quickly over to Dembski. And Nick Dembski gets near first down yardage. They're such a balanced team in terms of the way they, they try to attack. They try to spread the field, try to get the ball to everybody, even in the run game. On first and ten. And throwing on it. Getting it to Lucky Whitehead in space, but good coverage by the Argo defense. Kadarius Ford is there. Robert Woodson as well. Who had a big kickoff return for a touchdown against the Argos three weeks ago. He had a couple of touchdown catches against Edmonton back in week three. Nichols throwing off to his right to Dembski. And picks up 
yardage up over the 45, but not enough for a first down. So Winnipeg will be punting for the first time in this game. It's been a different story, it seems, every single week for the Argos as to why they have struggled off the Medlock punt. Back forward is Chris Rainey, but it does head out of bounds. Passing and first down. Around his 10, completing it to SJ Green and a big first down Toronto. Adam Big Hill there to take him down, but not before a good gain. All three pass attempts to SJ Green. Now 26 yards for him. And uh, bobbling a bit is Brandon Burks, but has a good day gain on first down after taking that handoff on a flag that was back in the Argonaut backfield. Holding Toronto, number 64. That's a 10 yard penalty, remains first down. Got the right guard, Ryan Bauman. So after, uh, they had a bit of a drive going, but certainly stalled there as they're pushed back to their 26. And there have been many for the Boatman in 2019. 0-6, taking the handoff and the hitch and going nowhere for the Argonauts there. Well, taking a look at this Winnipeg defense, it starts with the boys up front. That's led by playmaker Willie Jefferson from his defensive end spot. And he and middle linebacker Adam Big Hill. You've got a couple of guys that most people would suggest were among the top handful of defensive players in the league last season. One of the beneficiaries of their work has been Winston Rose, five interceptions in his last four games. And the long second down of the Bombers again have been covered well. Chandler Fenner is there. The struggles of the offense have been the consistency. A number of things have got the Argos. Special teams, turnovers, and certainly a struggle to move the football. On the receiving end there, that punt is Mike Jones with flags down for no yards and a 15-yard, no yards penalty after a 44-yard punt by Zach Medeiros. You're talking about a swing of 25 yards and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers starting with the ball at midfield. With a 3-0 lead. Three penalties, 40, 40 yards for the Argos. Here's Andrew Harris! Look at Harris go! Leading rusher in the CFL! And he is a 56-yard touchdown romp here in Toronto. Andrew Harris being Andrew Harris terrific burst watching this play I can't help thinking that Andrew Harris as he gets older gets faster with the extra point here by Medlock a 10-point lead for Winnipeg still in the first quarter here and this is just the last thing that the boatman needed coming home at 0 and 6 and looking for some sign that they could turn this thing around good start to the season and a great run and so Medlock kicking off when the Argos were in a 10-point hole, they were down 21-0 in Winnipeg at the end of the first quarter. Three weeks ago, Chris Rainey, and pursued there by Derek Jones, heads out of bounds. So, after the 26-yard return by Rainey, the offense under more pressure now to do something and, at the very least, sustain some drives and give their defense a, a bit of a break. That's been a problem, too. McLeod Bethel Thompson, four for five, but not enough yardage. Penalties hurting, and a high tackle there. Kyrie Wilson taking down Brandon Burks. Jeff Heck, Chris Humes all meeting at the football. Second down play to Rodney Smith. And Rodney's got a first down for the Argos. The sticks move. They're up around the 45 now. Bombers just scored. You don't want to have a two and out in response. So that's a gain of eight. It's a first down. Some pressure coming. Bethel Thompson gets it away, and good coverage there. Winston Rose is there, and on S.J. Green. Big second down, Toronto. And it's batted at the line of scrimmage. Good work up front by that Winnipeg defensive line. And it's one of the newcomers, Jonathan Kongbo, the Canadian who went to school at Tennessee. He's from Surrey, B.C. Before heading to Tennessee. And the Argos do have it, and just tossing it away now is Ian Wild, but obviously to no avail in Winnipeg. Big play on special teams, and they're in business again. Intentional grounding. Toronto, number 44. Point of foul is the 16-yard line. We'll have a change of possession of the ball. Be Winnipeg first down. Yeah, it's a heads-up play by Wild to do what he did because he's trying to save that field right. position instead of falling on it closer to his own goal line. You throw the incomplete pass, incomplete pass on third down. It's just a turnover on downs at the original line of scrimmage. So a heads-up play. Winnipeg has the ball 
at the 16 of the Argos, and they have a 10 nothing lead. It's happening again. Lucky Whitehead breaks a tackle. And Lucky pushed out, but a flag is down as well as he got that down around inside the 10 yard line. Holding Winnipeg, number 10. That's a 10 yard penalty. Remains first down. Players like Dembski blocking out on the perimeter had to hold their blocks a little longer. That's what led to the holding call. First and 20. Some pressure on Nichols, but he does get it away. That's completed to Kenny Lawler, his first reception. It's inside the 20. Justin Herdman Reed, Winnipeg native, had been starting in the middle. Second down and 13. Pressure on Nichols, but he gets away for a moment. Now he is taken down. This one coming from the 33 yard line for Medlock. He had a 51 earlier, and he is two for two on the night. They do need to pull together and a whole lot more right now on offense again. McLeod Bethel Thompson handing it off. Chris Randy, he bounces off a tackle and finally does get taken down up near the 45. Went eight for 13, but here in short yardage, and he is met. And I think he's still got it, his uh, furthest advancement. But boy, Adam Big Hill put up a blue and gold wall, didn't he? Fortunately, Prukop only needed uh, a couple of inches uh, for the Argos. There is Chris Rainey, and he is hauled down by Big Hill up around the 50. But another first down. Here come the Argos now. And do they ever need to piece together something as they're for the first time on that gain of 16 in Winnipeg territory? Major foul, unnecessary roughness, horse collar tackle, Winnipeg number four. 15 yards to the end of the play, automatic first down, and one more play in this quarter. The last play of the quarter at the 35 and pressure he just throws it up and it's nearly intercepted Winston Rose was that close to having a league leading sixth pick on the season a 13 nothing lead after one quarter by Winnipeg total domination in the opening quarters especially against Toronto Dwayne 34 nothing if you count uh, the other game three week three weeks ago in Winnipeg but the Argos uh, as you had mentioned earlier penalties really hurting them. and a couple of Medlock field goals hence the 13 nothing lead to start quarter number two but Toronto and Winnipeg territory another one batted away and nearly intercepted by Kyrie Wilson so for the second time in this half McLeod Bethel Thompson has had passes deflected with that wingspan you got to be aware you've got to hold firm at the line of scrimmage Tyler Carpina is wide that was just his second uh, attempt since joining the Argos Lucky Whitehead brings it out and they do have him covered so Winnipeg will start deep in their own zone Doc Shackling talking to coach Corey Chamberlain Caleros is excited to be here and the Argos are telling me that, listen, they will be evaluating the quarterback position right now. Remember what he did backing up Ricky Ray back in 2013, there for two seasons in Toronto and back in double blue. Andrew Harris has had a big game. This time, catching it, Alden Darby hauling him down, but not until he gets up to the 20 and a first down for Winnipeg. It certainly is. Oh, that's in and out of the hands of Chris Matthews. Of course, it's a little easier just talking into a microphone than catching a football. Yeah, so you, you guys are warriors. <laughs> I, mean, I expected something like that from you. Oh, Andrew Harris. And another big gain. He is just chewing up yardage in this first half in Toronto. Moving the pile forward at the end to get that first down yardage. Nichols throwing in the first down. And wide open. He has Drew Wolitarski, who has another big first down Winnipeg and Wolitarski's first catch of the night. For that wide side wide receiver spot. Nick Dembski taking the handoff and then tries to cut back inside. Lotzar goes around him for a short game, but a flag comes out. Major foul, steering Toronto, number seven. 15 yards to the end of play, automatic first down, Winnipeg. Five penalties, 55 yards. Nichols throwing again as Matthews, who's pushed out by Abdul Kenna. But not until another long Winnipeg gain of 24 yards. Who loves to mix it up. The pass, the run, he certainly has the tools. Like Dembski. Hey, breaks a tackle, he gets inside the 15, and he wanted more. Thought if he could have kept his feet, a gain of eight yards nonetheless. Dembski, 10 yards on the ground. They both have had receiving yards too. Ninth play of the drive, it's direct to Harris. He keeps pushing his way along, and the Argos come up with the football. A couple of solid Winnipeggers. 
head to head there, and it's, uh, it's the Argos with the football after a four and a half minute drive. Brandon Burks going to work, pushed down and more. Argos pushed out of bounds there by Adam Big Hill. Balance out the field a little bit. So first and ten from the 26, and a flag goes down. Is it uh, Reggie Sibisu, the fullback? Holding Toronto, number 66. 10 yard penalty remains first down. Take a contain rush Procedure. to the outside. Toronto, number 64. It's a five yard penalty remains first down. From the left tackle to the right guard, and it's the veteran Ryan Bauman called for procedure. So seven penalties for 70 yards, and, and they must be getting so tired of seeing this. All the way back. They started on the seven, and yeah, they're going backwards right now after a good game by Burks. Ethel Thompson. And that is completed. Over to the wide side. It is Darrell Walker who gets some of it back up across the 20. Nine catches for 188 yards. Bethel Thompson and dumping it off to Burks now who spins and avoids a tackle. But yes, another flag is down back in the Argo backfield. Holding Toronto, number 57. That penalty is declined. Third down. Zach Medeiros had a punt block in this game. No pressure coming that time with Mike Jones back for it at his 35. And Robert Woodson is there, and then a blue, double blue wall. You don't do hot dogs don't either. Do hot dogs, buddy. Oh, I guess it's all up to me, is it? There's a first down and 10 for Matt Nichols. Over to Andrew Harris. Fumbled the last time he touched the ball. Has a good game there for another first down. Blue Bombers, the University of Guelph, to uh, practice all week. And Things going much better than against the Tie Cats last week. Harris again and up near midfield. It's 88 receiving yards, 22. That's a 56 yard touchdown run is included in that. And quickly over to Chris Matthews. First down and more as he works his way up. Sidelined, at least for the time being. Second and five complete. Another first down. It's Kenny Lawler. Kenbrell Tompkins. Had a pretty good season for the Bombers last year, but didn't return in 2019. Lucky Whitehead keeps his feet, and another big gain for Winnipeg. You know, receivers aren't just receivers. Like, you'll see by the end of the season the number of carries that guys like Whitehead and Dembski will have in this offense. Big number of carries for that man, Andrew Harris, who has his second touchdown of the night. 13 yards. And the Bombers are running away. He did have that fumble on the last one when they were down at the seven. And I don't think Andrew Harris is anything to worry about as far as this night, especially seven plays, 70 yards. Another long one, too. 344 taken off the clock. And this is just utter dominance again by Winnipeg over Toronto for the second time in three weeks. So it's Chris Rainey and the kick by Medlock. And on the return and Bulls his way out with. When Winnipeg scored to avoid that here we go again feeling that you feel like might be setting in a little bit. Has been. They had a penalty off that return that pushed them up though in a better field position. Armani Edwards with his first reception of this game. Cloud Bethel Thompson facing some heat. Gets it away. Has a receiver open. It's Darrell Walker, but the ball sails just a bit too far. That would have been a touchdown for Toronto. Yeah, and, and this is a direct result of the pressure that the throw is off the mark. He's got to throw this ball a little bit earlier than he wants to throw it. Craig Rowe, I believe, was closing in on him. These guys are always relaxed, aren't they? <laughs> Often, I wouldn't know what was going on behind me there, what they're doing. But, you know, they, they could kind of relax and break down what Andrew Harris has done. That's for sure. McLeod Bethel Thompson uh, completing that one. But it is third down, and they are going to see if they can put some points on the board finally here. Down by 20. He missed wide left in his last try. And this one is straight through. So for Pena now, two for three is an Argo. Argos need lots and lots of points. Still down 17. Little play back, Blake, and uh, dumping it off there to Dembski, and Dembski is taken down by Dowling. He was a good one. Of course, had a great CFL career, too. A lot of it with the Argos batting it at the line on that pass. It's Sean Lemon who got his hand on the Matt Nichols throw. Punt by Medlock. Down for Rainey, 26. And a good 
tackle on special teams there for Nick Hallett. Last time they had the ball, they broke down for a field goal, so that's something. Need a whole lot more of something now. Bethel Thompson and completing that one over uh, on the far side there to Darrell Walker. So gets a quick first down and a gain of 12, 142. Still lots of time if the Argos are able to move the football and get this game a little bit closer. Gets Winnipeg. With 13 targets in that game after 13 total leading up to it Brandon Burks on the carry for another first down so up near midfield and uh, certainly it's another first down or two away from an at least another field goal try if they can do it from center Sean McEwen Bethel Thompson off to SJ Green inside the Winnipeg 50 good gain on first another second and short for Toronto Some heat is coming. He gets it away. Brandon Burks has a first down and more, but a flag is down as Adam Big Hill rides it down inside the Winnipeg 35. But that flag is way back in the Argo backfield. Some fingers are pointing that it's against the Blue Bombers, and it looks like indeed it is. Major foul. Roughing the passer. Winnipeg, number two. 15 yards to the end of play. Automatic first down. Toronto. Taking on the Riders with Cody Fajardo, taking over for Zach Caleros, who is now a member of the Toronto Argonauts. When would he be available? McLeod Bethel Thompson, the quarterback right now, and he's got something going. An impressive drive late in this first half. Still lots of time, just under a minute. You haven't seen a, any element of quit or of sort of laying down. And here's a chance for Rodney Smith. How about that? Rodney Smith has a CFL touchdown. Touchdown, Rod Smith. So down 20 nothing. They get a field goal. They get the ball back, and then they get this, Dwayne. Not to be confused with Roderick Smith. Finds the end zone. Ten unanswered points for the Toronto Argonauts. Lucky Whitehead. Really hurt the Argos. The last time they played, a flag down, and they've done a good job covering him. Holding Winnipeg. Number two. Ten-yard penalty. First down. Was still a little bit of a learning process for him. So they set up the screen to Harris with just a few ticks left in the half. What a half it has been, by the way, for Andrew Harris with a couple of touchdowns on the ground. It's been tough going this season in 2019, but 10 straight points on the board and Andrew Harris on the ground just padding the numbers on that final play of the half. A half that's mostly been all Winnipeg, but a late answer by Toronto has at least given the home side some reason to hope. The Toronto Argonauts with 10 late points are still down by 10 to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers have been in command most of this game, but Thursday Night Football presented by the Brick underway in the second half with the ball in the hands of Chris Rainey. And as he gets a good return up to his 40, the question becomes, did the Bombers step off the gas like they did three weeks ago with a big lead? And if that's the case, can McLeod, Bethel Thompson, and Toronto do what they did before and seize more of the momentum? And Jackson Jeffcoat uh, up front, good defensive end for Winnipeg, is out with a lower body injury. Craig Rowe in there. And a completion to start the second half. So a good start, Argos, to the Winnipeg 50, just like that. Setting up a screen to Burks. Getting a block. Getting a whole lot more as Brandon Burks flags down. Can he take it all the way? Fumbles the ball into the end zone and gets it back. Or does he? Yes, he does. So what a play that is with a flag going down as he takes it in. It's a touchdown Toronto. And if this stands, how about that start to the second half for the Boatman? After yards for gain, holding. Toronto, 10-yard penalty, first down, Toronto. On a first and 10. Momentum, can they keep it? A deep ball, deep look, and too far. Intended for S.J. Green in the end zone. So a second and 10, Bethel Thompson took a shot. Nickel linebacker coming over, playing inside leverage. On second and 10. Under pressure, over the middle, Jimmy Ralph has it. And he has it inside the 35. It's a first down Toronto in a 12-yard gain. Jimmy Ralph with his second catch on the night. S.J. Green with another. And he is taken down immediately by Winston Rose. 
Got a big pass knocked down in the first half. Handing off to Chris Rainey. Rainey takes it on that second and short. He is taken down by the big tackle, Drake Nevis. It is close to another Argo first down. It is indeed a far cry from the way it looked before. And Winnipeg looked to be running away with it. Stepping back, looking to the end zone, and a dangerous toss, too, with the receiver, Green, well covered, Chandler Fenner there. Second down at the 22. Off to Rodney Smith, who was a touchdown in this game. And Smith takes it inside the 15 and close to another Argo first down. This has been an impressive drive to start this second half for Toronto. It'll be third and short by the looks of things. So a field goal try for Tyler Carpina from the 20. He's one for two in the night. Puts that one through. And it is good. The second field goal for Crepina. One thing my brother directed. So right now, so. Everyone has got to go check it out. Check Speaking it. of Maritimers, Atlantic schooners always talk about football on the East yeah, Coast. How do you think it would do? For years, amazing. Thank you, Brody. And a penalty against the Argos after a big grounding. defensive play. Yeah, no, number 15. Excuse me. Point of foul. Second down. Prior to the start of the previous play, Winnipeg had the challenge flag out. And an important challenge, too, from the replay we showed you before, because clearly that should be roughing against Freddie Bishop and the Argos. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned. We have roughing the passer. Toronto, number 56. Intentional grounding. Winnipeg, number 15. We're going to go f up five yards in the original line of scrimmage. Automatic first down. Winnipeg. The Argos with 140 yards in penalties. Andrew Harris, big first half. Nowhere to go to start this second half for him. They have him wrapped up, and this defense is fired up. At 11 yards. Nichols. Some deep. Bishop's trying to chase him down. Gets rid of it, and a great defensive play by the Argonauts there. Kenan Gilchrist. So instead, Justin Medlock in third down, punting from his 25. The lone man back for the Argos is Chris Rainey, known as a game-breaker. He's done it with Toronto. He did it several times in his BC Lions days. Derek Jones bumps him, gets a block, turns it on. Here comes Rainey. Chris Rainey across midfield. Gets it back. Still has room. Two bombers in pursuit. And he is finally taken down in a brilliant special teams tackle to save a touchdown. Kerfella Exame to prevent an Argo touchdown on the rainy return, but it's first and goal, Toronto. Bernard reads it right. They avoid a clipping call or an illegal block. First and goal, an end zone look, and off the fingertips of Darrell Walker, covered there by Winston Rose, second down. The Argos have scored on three straight possessions, looking to make it four. Looking to the end zone, it's nearly intercepted. Jeff Hecht was that close. Not a field goal as McLeod Bethel Thompson stays in on that third down and a challenge coming out from Corey Chamberlain by Mike O'Shea. Toronto is challenging the previous play for defensive pass interference. We'll review the play. So here you'll see Edwards, the second receiver, coming. Watch their right hand on the back of the jersey. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned. We have pass interference. Winnipeg, number 22. The infraction took place in goal. We'll place the ball on the one yard line. Automatic first down, Toronto. It was 20 0 Winnipeg after that challenge. That much closer, one yard away from the potential of tying this game. What a comeback by Toronto. Short yardage, Bethel Thompson keeps. Does he break the plane? No signal yet from McLeod Bethel Thompson trying to sneak it in and bring them to within a conversion of tying this football game. Not yet. Good work by the Bombers up front to deny them that time. This time, Bethel Thompson quickly throws. And he has a touchdown toss to Jamal Campbell, offensive lineman who's an eligible receiver. And what a big six points for number 67, local product Jamal Campbell, with the Argo touchdown that puts them within a point of tying this game after they were down 20-0.
because he's the end man on the line of scrimmage, he's eligible. Oh, Jamal Campbell will not forget that. And how big of a touchdown could it turn out to be after five plays? A seven yards after the big return by Chris Rainey to set it up for the Toronto Argonauts. Still haven't won this season. This game is now tied at 20. An unthinkable score, the way things looked late in that first half. Lucky Whitehead. And suddenly Winnipeg needs to steal the momentum back, and you've got a fired-up unit. Sean Harrington in there with a tie game suddenly. 20, 20, Nichols. Andrew Harris, who's had such a big night, and a flag is down as he is taken down across the 30. Major foul, Spiri, Toronto, number 45, 15 yards from the end of the play, automatic first down. Up at the 48, looking to answer back when the momentum has swung Toronto's way. It's a 20-20 tie. Faking the handoff to Harris, under pressure, Nichols gets it away for Lucky Whitehead, who makes a good catch. Oh. Past the halfway mark of the third quarter in a tie ball game. Off the fingertips, incomplete. The intended receiver is Kenny Lawler, who stays at the Winnipeg bench. Really didn't look like a, a pass interference there. Nonetheless, the defense stands. A little bit of heat on Medlock, getting this away. Chris Rainey had a huge return the last time. And this time, nothing. Hamilton came off a big win over Winnipeg, but lost Jeremiah Masoli. Dane Evans is starting quarterback. Craig Rowe pursuing Bethel Thompson and looking up there for Armani Edwards. Haven't seen Brandon Burks for a little while. Wouldn't surprise me to see him get a little bit involved on this drive. Second and two, and throwing on that second and short, and throwing deep on it into double coverage, nearly intercepted by Chris Humes. And that's just the second two and out for the Argos in the night. The first one was in their first possession of the ball game. Mike Jones with it at his 30. And up across the 35 to about the 37-yard line for Winnipeg. So quickly, Matt Nichols and the Bombers get the football back. You also got to give them credit. Huge punt return by Chris Rainey to set up the last score. It certainly was. Andrew Harris, big night continues for him as he gets it up near the Winnipeg 50. Good gain on first down for Harris. Start wearing out some of those pass rushers. Lean on them with your big bodies. Handing off this time to Nick Dembski. They've sustained some long drives and worn out that Argo defense. Trying to do it again now. No. Falls down to Lawler. And that was on second and four. So on comes the punting team with the ball right at midfield. And the Argos are going to get this back in a tie game. At the big punt return to get it to the seven and ultimately lead to the tying touchdown. And his hands there with nowhere to go. But he still goes anyway, and he picks up a decent return up across the 25. Every time you read that, I just want to go. Chris Randy wrapped up Willie Jefferson's got him there. This big Drake Nevis, too. And lost yardage for the Argos on that first down. Big second down. Bethel Thompson is down. Wrapped up nicely there by Willie Jefferson and a big loss Toronto to punt it away from near their end zone. You get three defensive ends on the field to line one of those guys up inside in passing situations. It's Mike Jones for Winnipeg and the return in the field position game is now working the other way. Suddenly the Winnipeg offense finds themselves with a terrific starting point. They also find themselves in a tie game as Andrew Harris receives it and hurdles done a lot tonight a lot of running a little jumping there too late in the third quarter now right over Kadarius Ford this all started late in the first half for Toronto down three touchdowns down 20 points came back to tie it but Winnipeg is gradually stealing momentum back lucky Whitehead has the catch and a first down and getting into scoring position Three quarters down here at BMO, one quarter to play, but what a quarter for the Argos, uh, Dwayne, a 2020 tie as you look at the numbers, and we wondered that little bit of momentum that they got late in the half, could they carry it through? They certainly did. Uh, some pressure on them now with Winnipeg in scoring position at the Argo 40 and a first down, so they have been on the move in this last possession. And Andrew Harris talking about a guy on the move, and again as he's taken down after another first down. What a night for Andrew Harris. 
the two-time leading rusher in the Canadian Football League. Looking energized on offense, and to no surprise, it's Andrew Harris who's been the catalyst. What a game we got going here. Harris again. Yeah, great call to keep feeding the ball to 33. If you're looking for that game, you can find it on TSN3. Lots to be decided here, though, on the toss. It's Harris again. Puts his head down, and he pulls his way through. That never trailed. But they're tied now. Faking that handoff to Harris and dumping it off for Wolotarski, who was taken down there by Matthew Botang. Bombers have blown a 20-point lead. Can they get back in front now? Nichols looking to the end zone and has a touchdown for Chris Matthews. Watch left side of your screen working towards the right. Crossing routes create a collision underneath. Free up Chris Matthews. So Winnipeg has its lead back. Medlock looking to make it seven again. And he does. So despite all that work by Toronto to get back in this game, they now have more work to do. Not done yet. Second and five. Toronto down six. McLeod, Bethel Thompson. Over the middle and completed another first down inside the 20. For SJ Green. Single point that they didn't seem to want at the time when they seemed to be punting for field position could prove to be very valuable for the Toronto Argonauts. Could loom very large. And an end zone look. Bethel Thompson, good coverage there. And Darrell Walker who wants a flag. Pretty good on the, the quick hitters, the intermediate stuff, moving the pocket around. Another big second down here. Long drive knocked away and recovered by Willie Jefferson. Bethel Thompson back to pass. Oh my goodness for Argo fans. As Jefferson gets to him, coughs up the football. Winnipeg ball with 2.19 on the clock. Under two minutes to go now, and Harding from McLeod, Bethel Thompson, and the Argos right now. Not over yet, but not looking good. A Toronto team, Mike always all fired up. And we'll see how the guessing game goes here between Medlock and Rainey. Puts it off to the left, to the right for Rainey, who lets it bounce at around the 35 and picks it up. And gets taken down after a 43-yard punt here tonight. Complete. Green, what a night. S.J. Green has been having as well with his eighth catch up near 100 now. Take what they give you. Good call on first down. Takes what they gave you. Rodney Smith getting out of bounds. Close to first down yardage again. 118 on the clock. The Jefferson force fumble did a lot of damage. But it's not over yet. The blitz is coming. They read it and Smith takes it, but he falls down. He loses his footing. Yeah, turf monster. A couple of big wins over BC. And that on the second down. There goes and their fans wanting a flag. But it's third down. No penalty is indicated as some boos come down. Marcus Sales on the coverage. Pretty much ball game Toronto and any hopes of getting in the win column in this night. Bethel Thompson with a man in his face and a completed pass. And that one is inside the 40. It is a first down indeed with one minute even on the clock. Big third down conversion. Bethel Thompson, Argos, another completion, another slick footing there, this time for S.J. Green on the first down catch, but it's another good gain on first. Nine catches, 109 yards. Yeah, his biggest of the year. He hadn't had more than six catches in a game this season, looking for his first 100-yard outing. What do the Argos have left? Bethel Thompson over to the far side of Jimmy Ralph. First down again. Here they come. 25 seconds, 27-21 Winnipeg. A year ago tomorrow, he led a big comeback from 24 points down in his first ever CFL start. Taking off for the third time tonight, and a flag is down, though, in this carry as he tries to lunge down to the 10. Illegal contact on a receiver. Winnipeg, number eight, a penalty is declined. First down, Toronto. What a night it's turning out to be for McLeod Bethel Thompson. Yeah, 
Now down to 17 seconds, but with that run, just with the field position that he gained, kind of gives himself some options here to avoid having to try and really go over the top with the throw to get to the end zone. The Argos have something they had very little of this season, a chance. It's just outside the 10, just seconds on the clock, needing a touchdown. End zone long, and they've got it. Touchdown, Toronto. S.J. Green. What a comeback. And my goodness, do they ever need it. I'll tell you what, this play is all about execution, magnificent execution. And there's the safety. He's down low. He's going to come on the blitz. we got to get that picked up. Chris Rainey's going to step up and do that. Middle is now open with the safety coming. Someone's got to work to the middle. S.J. Green's got that covered. Touchdown. This is his third game with the Boatman. And this should be for the win. Up and through. And there are 10 seconds left in the clock and some uncommon cheers in 2019 from the patrons here at BMO Field. And a low point to be sure, and we could sense that in interviews yesterday, how, it, how frustrating it must be. So Lucky Whitehead needs to do what he did against the Argos three weeks ago, return a kick for a touchdown. And no, four seconds on the clock, so it's not over. But the Toronto Argonauts are starting to savor win number one in 2019 a long-awaited win and last play Nichols no for the first time in 2019 the Toronto Argonauts have a victory and they came from 20 points down to do it yeah Corey Chamberlain has kept his poker face but that's got to be it refrigerator off his back.